So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can draw a solid building to go with your scaffold drawing. So let's actually backtrack and, uh, and do this from scratch. So I will highlight this and uh, just delete what we've done and go back to our original plan. So let's just change this back to our normal wireframe. Change to the overlay layer, or it can be any other layer really. I'm going to choose the overlay layer, or you can create your own layer. And then we're going to draw a polyline because we can extrude a polyline. That's command is P line. So basically all you need to do is just trace around very close to your building perimeter or just the building outline that you want to draw that needed to be scaffolded. Now, if you already inserted an overlay image, that's fine. You can still do, do this in the same way. So I'm going to have ortho on. I'm just going to trace around the corners. So as usual, I can scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and I can hold the mouse wheel down if I wanted to actually just um, pan or zoom like that and we're close to the edge there and I'll just do a C for close okay so there we have our overlay image so from here all we need to do is use the extrude command So we just click on, so I just typed in extrude at the, at the command prompt and then just select the actual line that we'd just drawn and then right click to say that we're finished selecting and then we type in the height, basically the height of our building. So um, we're in the metric version of iSCAF so that's six, six meters is 6,000 millimeters and I press enter and the angle is zero. And if we go back to our DV now, we see that we have a wireframe extrusion there, which uh, is a solid. So from here, you can now go to view, shade, and we can go hidden, and there is our solid structure. Now we can also go back to view, shade, and we can go flat shaded, and that takes on the colors of that particular layer. So I can change that color by just highlighting it, just by sort of windowing over that wireframe from right to left, and then just right clicking, going to properties, and if I want to change this color, just go to the properties and change it to whatever color that you actually like. So I've got white there. If you want to change it to uh, a magenta color, you can do that as well. So now I'm going to show you a little bit more with uh, AutoCAD 2011 or newer. So the two commands to remember are P line and extrude. Even with the full version of iSCAF with the full AutoCAD, I think it's better to use P line because it puts a top on the on the surface of the uh, full structure that you're building. I found that when you actually extrude the plan layer, it actually seems to not put a roof on on the building structure so that's why I recommend the p-line command and you extrude that um, 
you will notice that with the full version of iSCAF there are some differences and I'll show you that. Um, if we go back to DV in there, we can actually once again type in extrude. Now the other method of accessing that command is to go to draw modeling and extrude and we zoom in we select our polyline we press enter and we just type in the distance we want to extrude so um, that's six say six let's make it six thousand five hundred in this case and there's our extrusion now I've drawn that um, in a different different layer in this example and uh, that can be easily changed so uh, if we actually uh, go to the plan layer we can actually change the color of that to be gray for example so we click on the layers again and uh, and there we have it now so the differences that I was mentioning was that is that you go to view and you can go to visual styles where you can select hidden realistic and uh, you can try some of the other options but I do find that hidden and realistic are the, are the two best ones for for iSCAF so if we select realistic for example we have a shaded area there and that shaded area takes the color of that layer. So that replaces, uh, so in, in iSCAF Lite and in earlier versions of AutoCAD, you will find that um, it's actually in the menu option View Shade, where there's View Shade Hidden and, uh, and um, View Shade Flat Shade. Um, so it's different in the full version of AutoCAD. As I said, it's uh, view and visual styles. So if we actually try a different one and try hidden, and it looks like that. Now I do recommend that when you build 3D in iSCAF, you don't do it in this mode because it takes a long time to build. So I suggest that you actually go back to typing in DP in the plan layer, go back to view, go back to visual styles 2d wireframe and then build 3d from that so we can build 3d by clicking on the iSCAF build 3d option and we can build this to 3d after building it to 3d we can then change the view to the 3d view and then select the visual styles. So in my example, I actually created the P-line in the overlay layer, but then I switched to the plan layer. So when I did the extrusion, it actually created it in the plan layer. So just be aware of that. When you run the extrude command, it actually generates the extrusion in the layer that you're currently at. So I probably should have been in the overlay layer when I did the extrusion. Um, for, the, uh, for this full version of AutoCAD. So um, now that I've got the build, I can go back to view, visual styles, and I can choose hidden. So there's our, our hidden view of our extrusion, which is our, our building there. And we can also go view, visual styles, realistic, and we get that view as well. Now just uh, remember that tip where uh, in the in AutoCAD, a newer version of the newer versions of AutoCAD, you can hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then hold down the mouse wheel and move your mouse and you can scroll around to all different sides like that. Neat little feature.
and that concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching.